to move on. Ahsoka Tano visited various unexpected locations on her live-action adventure, such as the world between worlds and a whole new galaxy. It also appears that the plot may not have been concluded in a single season, given all of the adventure. Nevertheless, no matter what the show's title is, Star Wars episodes are frequently quite lenient when it comes to who appears in what. For instance, why can't Season 2.5 of Mandalorian be called Book of Boba Fett? So to help you stay current on the Star Wars world, Here's what we know so far about Ahsoka Season 2. Yes, it is. On January 9, Lucasstone revealed the details of the second season of the show in a blog post promoting The Mandalorian and Grogu, the upcoming Star Wars movie. Although the movie was the main announcement, the post also revealed that Dave Filoni is developing Ahsoka Season 2, which was the season's first official announcement. However, it shouldn't be shocking to learn about the upcoming season. After all, the first season finale contained a number of strong hints about it. Even while the first season of the program told a full story on its own, it omitted information about the consequences of Thrawn and Ezra returning to the Star Wars galaxy. Above all, we're interested in learning what transpires once they get there. What role does Thrawn play in the ascent of the First Order? And how do Ezra, Ahsoka, and Sabin fit in, especially now that some of them are stuck on a far-off planet? It's likely that Ahsoka Season 2 won't be available for long. The Acolyte and Skeleton's crew are the only ones scheduled for arrival in 2024. Thus, it won't happen this year. However, it does appear plausible that Ahsoka's new season will debut in 2025 or 2026, coinciding with the release of a new Mandalorian film in those same years. Of course, it's possible that we'll see the return of Sabine, Ezra, Thrawn, or even Ahsoka, long before the real show returns, because we don't know for sure how certain important Ahsoka characters might fit into these other projects. Ahsoka finds herself a little lost at the end of her first season. With no quick means of returning to their own galaxy, she and Sabin find themselves stranded in the exact same location as Ezra. But since everyone knows where they are and the Thrawn has returned, a rescue operation is probably about to happen. Because of everything, this question is really difficult. Titles are meaningless as the Star Wars franchise has already shown. The Mandalorian debuted Boba Fett, the Book of Boba Fett featured Din Djarin and Grogu, and Ahsoka had her live-action debut in Manda instead of the show bearing her name. Any of these figures may appear anywhere, it seems. Because the Mandalorian and Grogu is the next program on the schedule and the hub of all these other series, it wouldn't be shocking if Sabbing and Ahsoka were in that one. After all, Boba Fett isn't expected to return for Season 2. But remember, that's just a wild guess, and if the two appear in Mando's film, they might steal the show a little. That is the strategy. It's said that every Star Wars television series set in this era, including Ahsoka, The Mandalorian, and Book of Boba Fett, is preparing for a massive team-up film directed by Dave Filoni. Even while that seems to be the goal, there are still very few specifics available about the project, aside from a potential 2026 release date, so it's difficult to predict when it will be released or whether it will end up on the ever-expanding list of unfinished Star Wars movies. Sure, watch Star Wars, The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels if you're a diehard fan of the franchise and haven't previously. One thing is for certain, the events in these animated episodes will have a significant impact on the Star Wars universe that exists on Disney+. We can't necessarily recommend the series based solely on its quality, as it varies greatly from pretty great to incredibly boring. And if you feel that you should be up to date on all of the most significant Star Wars information, you may find it in the animated series.